Why browsing through your comments on the channel guys I came across a question from this fan. I really like the topic of the question about Ausviren and its connection to Ichigo. That's why I want to talk about this question in this video. Because Ausviren is one of Yuabach's most powerful abilities, showing he really is the father of the Quincy's, from whom they all came. Imagine that, in the end, Quincy's lives are in Yuabach's hands. A Quincy is born, trains, becomes stronger and believes his powers belong to him. But then Yuabach awakens and simply takes that power with one move, just because he is the father of all the Quincy's and just because Yuabach's blood flows through his veins. With this in mind guys, and since Ichigo has Quincy blood, does this also put him at risk of Ausviren? And what about his sisters? We'll discuss all of these guys in this video. First of all guys, if we wanted to categorize Ausviren, we would say there are three types of Ausviren. The first type was mentioned by Ishin in chapter 537 when he told Ichigo that 9 years ago, to regain his strength, Yuhabach performed the Ausviren or the Holy Selection, taking the powers of all impure Quincy's or as Ishin said, those with mixed blood. And as we know, it was hinted that there are two types of Quincy's those called Echt or pure blood Quincy's who throughout history have kept their blood pure by marrying only other Quincy's with the same blood. And the Ishida family was one of those families. Then there is a second type, the Gimmished Quincy's. Kubo didn't explain exactly what makes a Quincy Gimmished or not, but it's likely Quincy's with one non-Quincy parent, such as a human mother or father. This union would result in a Gimmished Quincy child. But also guys, even pure blood Quincy's are at the risk of having their blood uh, tainted if infected by hollow poison, like what happened with Masaki. That's why Ryo controlled Masaki in chapter 531 that when Shinigami in hollow fight, Quincy's don't interfere until the Shinigami dies. And even then, this task is left to the gamished Quincy's, like Kanai category since the Echt blood must be not easily spelled. So when the nine years began during which Yuabach was supposed to regain his strength, the first thing he did was activate the Holy Selection or Ausviren, targeting all the Gimmished Quincy's and taking their powers. As Ishin described it, what Yuabach did was like food for him to start recovering his power. And according to the Kaiser Gizan's poem which says that the king regains his strength after nine years. And that was the first uh, holy selection or Ausveren that Yuabach carried out on the impure Quincy's. And as the name suggests, selection means that Yuabach decides which Quincy's he'll target, since his blood runs in the veins of all Quincy's. He has prior knowledge of all of them, so he can determine the pure bloods and mixed bloods, and based on necessity, he activates that ritual. And this means that Holy Selection doesn't only target the Gamish Quincy's, but also the Echt. And this happened in chapter 603, where Yuhabach, along with Yuryu and Hashvald, ascended to the royal palace. He had already decided which Quincy's would go with him and which would stay in the Soul Society. So everyone who stayed in the Soul Society was considered unnecessary by Yuhabach. So their power should benefit those in the royal palace. When the elite members were defeated, Yuhabach used the whole selection again. But this time, not for himself, but to revive the elite members and gave them the necessary strength to return. And according to Hajvald's servant in the novel, the holy selection Yuabach performed in that event from all his generator and soul society. And this explains why this generator reappeared again with their vault standing activated, whether in the manga or in the anime. And as we have seen in the anime, it was more clear. However, guys, as Kobo mentioned in his last answer about the holy selection, this ritual severely harms weak Quincy's, which we saw as many soldiers died from the first blow of that ritual. And old Shianaiter, like Robert, also died from the first attack. Meanwhile, younger Shianaiter, like Basby, the Bambis, and Nanana, didn't lose all their Quincy powers, but only their wall standing. And those who survived could no longer fight using wall standing. That's why, guys, I said this ritual is a terrifying technique, since all Quincy's as a race are at the risk of having their power stolen, or even dying if Yuabach performs that ritual. 
Proof of this is the final type of Auswirren he used at the end of the manga, when Yuabar decided that he no longer needed this generator in the royal palace. When he activated the Auswirren, he took all the power of Harshfeld and Girard, causing them to die as a result. And so guys, as you can see, after reviewing all the types of the Holy Selection or Auswirren, surely many questions came to mind while I was talking about the first type. Yuabach performed the Holy Selection then to take the power of all the impure Quincy's, the mixed blooded one. At the time Ichigo and his sisters Yuzo and Karen existed. Ichigo was 9 years old, while Yuzo and Karen probably were 4. And if we go by the general concept, Ichigo, Yuzo, Karen would be considered gimmished Quincy's since their blood is mixed. And this is because their mother Masaki had her blood tainted by the hollow power. Add to this that their father wasn't a Quincy. So in all cases, their children would be considered gimmished Quincy's. So why didn't the Holy Selection or Auswirren affect them since Ishen said it targeted the impure Quincy's? So here are the suggested theories on this topic. And afterward, I'll share my own theory. Theory 1 said that the Holy Selection could have affected Ichigo. But Yuabak chose not to touch him because he needed him later to cut the king. As for Yuzo and Karen, they were still young, so there was no reason to target them as they had no powers worth taking. And theory 2 says Ichigo hadn't awakened his Quincy powers yet, so neither he nor his siblings were considered Quincy's at the time, so the ritual didn't affect them. So guys, either of these theories could be correct, but I believe there might be another reason which also requires some thought. I agree that Yuabach wouldn't harm Ichigo because he wanted him to awaken his powers and cut the king. However, I don't think the Holy Selection could affect Ichigo or his siblings because they aren't really Quincy's, especially Ichigo. He's like a unique entity with mixed bloodlines, similar to Ryu. For example, guys, if Masaki had married a human or even a pure blood Quincy, her children would be gimmished with Quincy blood mixed with human blood, so nothing would prevent the Holy Selection from taking their powers. And this is what happened with all the Gimmish uh, that were targeted by this ritual. The only Gimmish who survived that ritual was Uru, whose survival remains one of the biggest uh, mysteries in the story right now. But Ichigo, Yuzu and Karen are a special case and aren't fully Quincy's. They only have Quincy aspects while the rest is Shinigami. Therefore, I believe that their mixed powers protected them from that uh, holy selection or even Yuabach's interest in targeting them. And the proof that Yuabach didn't use the Auswirren technique to steal Ichigo's power is that he went directly to Ichigo and absorbed his Quincy power. And after that, he used Auswirren to take the power of Hajvald in Girard. What's more, even after Yuabach absorbed Ichigo's Quincy power, which had hollow power mixed in, that hollow power still remained within Ichigo, because in the novel it was mentioned that Ichigo's hollow is still inside him. And more than that, Taichi Kobo confirmed that Ichigo can turn his Zanpakuto into two blades if he wants. One blade contains his Quincy power, and the other has his Shinigami power. Not only that, but White mentioned before that these two powers come from a single source and from one entity. As for the reason why Auswirren couldn't affect Ichigo, it's not just because he hadn't awakened his Quincy power yet, but I believe it's more about his blood. Because the old son Zangitsu was using Ichigo's Quincy power to heal his wounds before Ichigo's Quincy abilities even awakened. That's why I think guys that Masaki's children having Shinigami blood is a good reason for Yuabach not to use Auswirren on them to take their powers. Their main strength isn't purely Quincy, it's a mix of different powers. And this is similar to the example of the medallion that failed to steal Ichigo's Bankai, showing how his mixed powers protected him from certain techniques. The real mystery in all of these guys is about Yuryu and Ryukin. During the first Auswirren that targeted the mixed blood Quincy's, Gimish, Yuryu was the only survivor, while the rest died. 
in the last house Verren, which targeted all the Quincy's and the royal palace, both Ryuken and Yuryu survived again. Did Sokin do something to protect his son and grandson, or is it a secret tied to the Ishida family? I believe the answer to this question, to this mystery, will finally be revealed in the anime, either in part 3 or 4. In the end, guys, what do you think about what I've said about this reason why Ichigo is immune to the house Verren? Or do you see another reason? Tell me guys your uh, opinions in the comments and see you in my next video.